the Sky will showcase works by three exceptional international choreographers from Aotearoa, Korea and Australia on the theme of the seasons, the southern sky and time, presented to coincide with the Matariki Festival. Joining us on the cafe to tell us all about it, please welcome New Zealand Dance Company's Lucy Lynch and Shinji. Yes. Welcome, guys. So let me get this straight. At the moment, Shin, you are in, well, both of you, you're in rehearsal eight hours a day. Yes, that's, right. that's absolutely right. Eight yeah. hours? That's eight like hours a day. Eight hours a day. You must have one of those little foam rollers that you're on all the time, rolling out all the aches and pains. We'll have more than one. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. extraordinary. Eight hours? I can't even imagine what that's like. Um, Lucy, tell me a bit more about how this actually works. Do you do all three dances? Do you split them up? How does it work? So there's three different choreographers. So there's one from Korea, one from Australia, and one from New Zealand. And so we spend about an average of four, four or three, sometimes four days with each choreographer choreographer to learn the work. Wow, that must yeah. be quite exciting. And is it quite a different way that they go about teaching it to you? Yeah, each um, choreographer has a different style. Like sometimes it can be quite collaborative. So we come up with a lot of the movement. And then there's some choreographers like um, Jai Duk from Korea, yeah. who teaches most of the movement. He knows what he wants. Yeah, he knows yeah. what he wants, yeah. He knows everything he wants. <laughs> <laughs> in the good way, yeah. in the good way. Yeah. And should, what do you find most challenging about doing this this way? Um, it's really interesting. We're talking about um, the Korean choreographer Jay Duk. Um, that was the first time I've ever been into a dance piece that being taught by the choreographer himself from the beginning to the end. The piece is around 33 minutes, and he told every single move, oh, yeah. and that made me found. Um, to start with, I found that was really challenging because in New Zealand we turn to um, come come up a lot of ideas and movement right. yeah. and provide to the choreographer but that was the first time I feel like I'm back in dance school and have to learn you, did you get everything. Nervous? I was really nervous. Yeah, I, I was really too. nervous. Um, do yeah. you, so this is contemporary dance, all of yes. these things. Yes. So what, for people that maybe haven't seen a lot of dance, how would you describe contemporary dance? Oh, that's always uh, a tough question. Because yeah. 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 sometimes people think it can be quite... Uh, what's Abstract. The word? Yes, yeah. that's what yeah. I was looking for. Yeah. Yeah. It can be anything, I think. Like, I think mm. that there's just unlimited possibilities of what contemporary can be. Mm. And I think, it, you know, there's no I don't know, correct def definition of what it is. Mm. Yeah. So, Shin, you know, obviously you have come to New Zealand. Was it dance that brought you here? Yes, absolutely. Um, I started dancing when I was eight, and now I'm 29 years old. That's wow. the only thing I've been doing since 80 years old. And yeah. why New Zealand? Um, before I come to New Zealand, I was um, having this musical theatre job in Japan. Um, um, after five years touring and doing the musical theatres, and somehow I just feel like, oh, something needs to change. And, and then I was looking up all the other countries, and, and I found this tiny little island country that people always describe the best location, um, best vacation spot, and I was like, if I could go to a place, I'd love to go to this holiday resort um, country. So that's why I come to New Zealand and never regret it. Oh, no. that's At fantastic. Yeah. What about you? What, what did you start dancing? Um, my parents put me into dance when I was about six years old. And it was just, you know, my after school hobby, like yeah. creative dance lessons. My little dancer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah, I guess it got to that point where I was like, I want to keep continuing continuing it, um, not as a hobby and as a career. I was like ready to pursue it. So yeah, I studied at Unitech, did the Bachelor of Dance there and then went on to the company. Wow, that's yeah. exciting to be able to do that as well. Well, it's been great having you both in here. Oh, Thank you so much for, for stopping you. by. A Kiss the Sky opens on June the 29th at the Bruce Mason Centre. For more details, you can go to nzdc.org.nz.